Everybody, what's up? So, first of all, I hope you all are having like a really amazing, great day. Okay. Let me tell y'all. Okay, so listen, everybody love Sheen. Everybody loves Sheen, Sheen, whatever you want to call it. Everybody love them. They have a huge selection of everything. Okay, so sometimes it'd be a little bit overwhelming for me to be sitting there and just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling past all the clothes. Of course, I'm in the curve section, the plus section, whatever you want to call it, curve plus plus curve. It's all the same. So, you know. I try to look at the human pictures. Now, I know there is a human modeling the clothes, but listen, I'm going to need the realistic humans before I buy stuff. And I will have something in my cart, and then I'll scroll down and look at the pictures, and it'll be like, oh, no, let me just remove that from my cart real quick. I don't really like it. And if it don't have a review, it's very hard for me to buy it. So I went on a little shopping splurge on Shein, and it's the second time that I've done that. And I'm going to just say they do have some affordable clothing but it ain't all what it cracks up to be for some of the things like quite a few of the things there's like five things that i gotta send back and i hate to send stuff back i did get like some accessories so i do think like these earrings for a dollar fifty girl you can't go wrong so they do have some really nice costume jewelry accessory earrings and but i did get this shirt from there and for me like i don't like my collars like this so yeah i went on a shopping spree i put some of the things away i put some of the things back to go back and i don't know i guess it's like a hit or miss a hit on this. If you shopped on Sheen before, please let me know what your thoughts, your takes are on it. What do you think of the clothing? What do you think of them as a whole? But that's just my take on it. I just wanted to share with that with you guys. I thought the shirt was really cute online. It's a very colorful cat shirt. A cat, yes. And I have a dog. Like, what am I doing wearing a cat shirt? But girl, listen, I thought it was cute. It's very colorful. It's, you know, the way the model was wearing it and other people. I figured, okay, girl, you can pull it off. But I don't really know about that right now, okay? But anyway, so, but this company here, I've already worked with them, like, a hand full of times they got some really affordable lace fronts girl hd swiss lace 180 percent in density okay but it says hd swiss lace girl that's what it says came with a whole bunch of nice free stuff they, they call it free gifts with purchase but like if it's a gift it's always free i mean i'm just saying but anyhow any hoot to the hoot super affordable inexpensive cheap when i say cheap i don't mean cheaply made okay i bleached it you know i purple shampooed so there was no brassiness i even sewed in an elastic band in this puppy okay girl while i was on a roll i decided i would style it too so that way i don't take up too much of your time so i know i talked enough so let's just jump into this video okay
Okay guys, so this is like an important step right here. Now as you see, ignore the bleached roots. That's gonna not be shown anyway because I'm about to cut it off. But because the wig is so long on the sides, there's really no way I could wear it like that. So I just part right above my ear and I just cut the excess lace off with the hair attached to it. Like it's not gonna do anything wrong. It's not gonna mess the wig up, you'd be fine. This will definitely give you a good fit. And girl, look, okay, you could save that piece. Make you some homemade baby hairs. Cause I see they trying to sell little pieces of baby hairs attached to lace now. So I'm saying, if you got a wig that's too big, go ahead and save those baby hairs attached to that lace and make you some, some homemade baby hairs, okay? But that's what I do to both sides. Some wigs are just made like that. I do notice that the most times that I have like this issue, and it's really not an issue, but the most times that I have to customize like this is when the unit is a 13 by four, but it's like one of those that don't have like the U-shaped dip in the middle. It's just a 13 by four all the way across. And I really do like the lace uh, frontals that are all the way across because it kind of gives you more sides in my opinion. So, you know, pull up, do a part, or what have you. So, that's where I see I customize a lot at when it comes to those type of wigs. But anyway, so as you guys see, I did accidentally bleach a little bit to the a little bit too much to bleach seep through and that was just that one particular spot but it's okay no big deal and i already had one ahead and made me like a spot where i wanted to make like some flyaways that's why the braid is right there in the front that's supposed to be like some type of baby hair thing that i pulled out just so that way it makes it my job a little bit easier but here's the thing you definitely will need to clean your hair line off prior Okay, so for this part of the video, I'm going to be using this today to adhere it. I've had this can of hairspray for God knows how long, but I don't really use the got to be freeze blast or blasting free spray. But because your girl's on a budget and she's trying to use up all of her hair products, such as all the cans of hairspray that I have, regardless of the brands, I'm going to be using this today. Along with this, if it doesn't work, this is my all time favorite, but girl, I got like this much left and so it's time to order some more from Amazon. So after I went ahead and cleaned my hairline, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use this got to be freeze blast. And I'm gonna just spray right here in the front so that way, you know, my wig will, you know, stick down. Now, you could either spray two to three coats on, it's up to you. I'm just gonna do two, I think I just did two. But you wanna make sure that in between sprays it gets tacky. So the first barrier you put on, make sure that it's tacky prior to spraying again. You don't want it to be dripping wet. And then after you have sprayed the amount of coats that you prefer, allow it still to get tacky and then you can go ahead and pull down your lace. So I did allow it to get a little bit tacky on the front perimeter prior to each coat that I put on. And, you know, I really don't use the freeze blast, but I'm going to say this. They do, um, the freeze blast and the Aussie Instant Freeze seem to be very similar in hold to me. However, I did notice that the Aussie Instant Freeze seems a little bit more tackier, like a, a little bit stronger hold when I apply or push my fingers on it. That's just in my opinion. But, you know, everybody is different. Everybody's body temperature is different, girl. So the way it sticks on me might not stick on you like that. It might You might have a better hold or you might not. Either one, I love doing a hairspray because you can easily clean it up. Because you see that hairspray right there on my hairline or past my wig line? Just take a baby wipe, girl, or a wet rag and wipe it down. That's why I don't really like to do glue. Plus, I'm not trying to be wearing a wig all day long and then sleep with it and wake up with it. Me and the wig are not besties, okay? I don't want this wig attached to me like that or any wig for that matter. Girl, it's 115 degrees today. A wig in this heat is too much, so I'm not trying to have a ferocious glue hold. But the got to be freeze blast does work well. I, I do like it, but I'm I'm gonna stick to what I have always been using, which is my Aussie. You know, it's cheaper, girl, and it just holds just about the same. Now I did try to you know sculpt a little bit of a baby hair thing going here. I don't want it too thick. I don't like the thick thick baby hair look. I don't like that. I just like it very sparse. I'm a sparse type of gal. Okay.
and just to hold down those sculpting hairs that I done did, I put my elastic bands on, which ain't nothing but elastic, okay? You can go to the craft store and buy you some and use my hair pick to comb these curls out. This hair is really nice, you know what I mean? I like the fullness of it. Girl, I mean, I'm saying they stepped it up. Recool cool hair has, you know, stepped it up. I appreciate that. Who don't like a step up, okay? They have really evolved. Go ahead. The lace turned out nice, okay? They really did step it up. Because I remember the first time I worked with them, they wasn't bad, and they wasn't the best of the best. But, you know, I'm appreciating this lace. Like, girl, look, ain't it cute, honey? All right, you guys, for it this wig to be cheap, 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 it came out nice. I will say that the hair luster is decent. So on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give them a nine. I've worked with them like a handful of times, like I told y'all, and they weren't the best of the best of the best, but they were decent. Now this HD Swiss lace is definitely giving, giving good vibes, giving hope, giving glam, giving beauty on a budget, giving baddies on a budget. This is what you need in your collection, especially if you're new to wearing wigs, or if you just want to get more wigs, girl, get you one of these. Do it like it's your day. This hair, okay, I'm for it to be an inexpensive wig, this is a nice wig, girl. Okay, get your mammy one, okay? You know, not needed a lot of baby hairs. The lace is a decent tint color. You know, the luster of the hair is a really nice, decent uh, luster. What I did was I did layer the wig on this side. I did cut layers in it just to give it that look. But you get a nice amount of parting space. Like, girl, look, okay, on a budget. Batty on a budget. Hello. End of the day, as long as you know how to take care of your wig, then you're doing great. So you want an elastic band, and it bleached the knots, pre-plucked the hairline. I didn't even really have to pluck that much. It was already kind of, like, decent, you know what I mean? Nice, clean. It wasn't, like, super duper 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 clean, but it was very clean to where I didn't have to do much. I didn't have to sit there and be plucking for, like, an hour. So on that note... Let me know what y'all think of this hairstyle. So I really wanted to try out this hairspray, see how good the hold is, but also try something with this unit because I really was appreciating the lace, especially for such an affordable wig. I felt like the lace was really important and that goes with any wig. The lace is like the most important thing on the wig because it's either a win or a lose. It could be a fail or it can be, you know, a win. So I decided to do this because for one, like I said, they evolved. They stepped up their game. And for the most part, I thought it came out great. Now would I rock this style? I'm not really sure. But I still think it looks cute though. Decided to try something with this hair to see how well this hairspray works. So it does hold down so good, okay? It does do a good job. But this wig is very flexible, honey. Like, listen, you can pull it up. That's the one thing that I do like about the lace fronts that's just wide all the way across. You have more parting space over here on the sides, which you can definitely pull it up. You can give yourself a look. I gave myself a little swoop bang with a little high ponytail. It might be a little crooked, but you know, that just is for experimental. So on that note, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs the video up for sure this time i love y'all make sure you guys stick around share it and i will see y'all definitely now on the next one yeah.